Hey everyone, Vox here. Today we're going to be going over the top five loadouts to change your Warzone playstyle. These are my top five favorite loadouts that'll get you switching up your game and getting you uh, unbored of the Warzone, right? Warzone gets a little repetitive. So let's just jump right into it, right? We got here first is a SKS. Um, the reasons why I like this gun with this particular setup is that one, you got a 4x zoom with no glint. That's the highest uh, zoom spec you can get without actually alerting everybody on the map to your presence um, this particular gun outranges ARs in almost every medium to long range uh, engagement sometimes a little shorter it can still outplay it's just better geared for the medium to long range now not only does it does it outrange ARs but it also is a two tap headshot so unlike some other marksman rifles or snipers you do have to hit them twice but it has a very high rate of fire just pop pop and they're done that's it easy peasy right so what i got on here i got a monolithic suppressor 22 inch barrel ranger foregrip 4x flip hybrid and the sks rifle stock that's it alternatively if you didn't want to run the rifle stock you could run um where's the damn perk run focus so you don't have as much flinch if you're getting shot. The the one thing that is kind of bad about the SKS is that when you're getting shot, you you flip up a bit. But um, and that's pretty much it. Alternatively to the SKS, if you don't like running uh, something with sniper rounds, I do have one other gun for you guys um, that that fills a similar similar role, but is a um, AR. So if you have an issue with ammo. Or anything like that this is the odin that i run if you switch it over to single fire it performs very similarly similar similarly to the sks um but with the advantages of being uh, an assault rifle so we got the colossus suppressor odin factory uh 810 millimeter barrel i use the cronin or the scout or the vlk sometimes the 4x it's really up to you the odin doesn't have as much range as the sks so if you want to turn it down i would probably recommend running a a 3x scope um, and then aside from that you got your ranger foregrip and your rubberized grip tape to to keep that recoil under control because the odin does have a lot of kick moving on to number two the riot shield all right, so a lot of people will try and pair Riot Shield with um, with knives or little sticky wickies that can beat people, but I've completely eliminated the melee aspect of of this build, if you want to call it that. And so what we have here is your standard Riot Shield. Secondary weapon can really be whatever you want. I like running a Burst Renetti, uh, but what's most important are the perks and your grenades, right? So the perks, I got EOD. Um, so you don't get down very easily by grenades. Um, not so much C4 anymore. C4 doesn't really exist in Season 6 of Warzone, so you don't really have to worry too much about C4 because they can't even like throw it over your head at this point. Uh, restock, so you keep getting your grenades back, and then amp so that if you need to switch weapons really quickly, you can. Uh, definitely want to go with Thermites. Semtex do not uh, provide one-hit kills even if you stick them. So Thermites are the, what you want to go for and then stun grenades and so what you do is you, you approach with a riot shield you try and get a stun off throw your thermites sometimes if you're good enough you can just throw the thermites without the stun grenades and then other than that you're going to be a, an asset to your team by by breaching and getting in into the the buildings and nobody's going to take you down you know so uh, with this i normally pick up this class second and what i have been running with it mostly most recently is uh, the sks you can pick any any gun you want I prefer something with long range at this point to pair off with it so that way you have your riot shield and your grenades for your close range and you got your SKS or your marksman rifle or your sniper or whatever uh, for the long range. Moving on to number three, the R90. So the R90 with Dragon's Breath rounds. What I've got on here is got a mono suppressor, a forge tax sentry barrel, uh, Dragon's Breath round, stippled grip tape, and a 5 milliwatt laser. Essentially what this is, it's going to maximize your range, uh, get your uh, sprint to fire speed pretty high up there, and um, or I guess lower it technically. You're, you're going to come out of sprint and into firing faster. Um, and, and basically what this gun does and how it kind of modifies your, your play style is that you can go into these buildings, you can camp in these buildings, you can do whatever you want, 
and once you're in there in close combat, this is a two tap, right? So if you're within range, it's ba ba, and they're done. And sometimes even if they if they don't have full armor, it can be a one shot down. It's got a shit ton of ammo. The only downside to this gun is that when you go ba ba, you know, it takes a second before you go ba ba again. So if you like running gun, if you like getting up and being aggressive towards people in buildings, you want to flush out campers. This is a very good option. Um, the Dragon's Breath really helps too if you don't finish them off with that initial ba ba because um, when they're on fire, it fucks with their aim. They panic because they don't know if they're stuck or if they're going to die or whatever. So this thing causes complete chaos. But the only downside is that you have to actually get up close enough, which sometimes in Warzone, it's hard to do. So take your pick. Number four. We got the M13. Oops. Particularly the M13 with the blackout rounds. And so this gun is definitely a trade-off. It's going to be much better if you're doing solos or duos. Um, not so good in trios and quads unless you're running another um, another like medium range or short range gun like an SMG perhaps with this. Um, and the reason because of that is that the blackout mags only have 30 round magazines. Right? So you only got 30 shots. So you're going to burn through your ammo really quick. Um, this gun is especially good if you can hit headshots. If you can't hit headshots, it's not as good. Um, but what I like particularly about this M13 is that you have uh, no tracers on your bullets. So if you're shooting from you know, sidelines or, or from behind somebody, they're not going to know where your bullets are coming from. All right? And that's the specialty of the blackout mags. So a lot of times, if you're in the war zone, or when I'm in the war zone, and I see my teammate getting shot, if I have direct sight lines on them, I'm going to look where those bullets are flying from. That aspect is eliminated with this M13. Not only that, if you actually kill somebody, uh, the body marker is gone. So nobody will be able to be like, on oh, my body, on oh, my body, because there's not going to be any mark for their teammates to look at. So here we go. We got a model suppressor, Tempest Marksman, BLK 3.0 optic, Commando foregrip, the blackout rounds. Alternatively, you could drop the optic for maybe some more recoil control, um, maybe a laser. It's it's really up to you. You could try um, sleight of hand as a, as a perk. It's it's up to you and how you want to play this gun. But I feel like you want the longer range on this gun, particularly because that makes the blackout round mags uh, more valuable, right? Because most likely, the closer you get, the more likely these people are going to know where you actually are on the map. And coming in number five, last but not least, it's somewhat of a gimmick, right? But, hey, man, you're trying to change up your play style. What better than the crossbow? All right, so what I run on here is a 28-strand cable, the XRK Thunder 200-pound arms, an FTAC backburn 20-inch bolts, which are the thermite bolts, thermite rounds, if you want to call it that. And I run a monocle reflex sight and sleight of hand. So to go over this gun, basically you have this thing maxed out for bolt velocity, all right? Uh, if your bolts aren't flying fast enough, it's gonna be a lot harder to hit your shots. Um, that kind of plays into these backburn bolts. So you have basically two options, the, the thermite rounds or the explosive rounds. The, the explosive rounds are stronger if you wanna run them, but they have more of an arc and they fly slower, so it's a lot harder to hit your shots. So I prefer the thermite rounds personally. That can be up to you. Uh, monocle, because the the default iron sights on the crossbow aren't really that good. I like the dot, it makes it easier to line up shots. Um, you could maybe go for a slightly uh, more zoomed in scope. I wouldn't really run uh, you know, anything that's 3x or up, right? Because if you're shooting things at that range, you're, you're it's going to take so long for that projectile to get there, right? So less likely to hit those shots. Why even focus on those shots with this gun? Um, and then I, you definitely, definitely, definitely cannot change or get rid of sleight of hand unless you expect to shoot this gun once and put it away for the rest of the fight, right? Because the reload time takes so, so, so long. Sleight of hand is necessary. Necessary. Oh, God, I can't speak for any crossbow user that, that's worth their salt. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I don't have any gameplay of these videos. Easy to edit. I'm, I'm not all caught up to speed on my editing shits, right? But if you want to catch uh, actual live gameplay and ask me questions and talk about it, 
hit me up on www.twitch.tv slash voxindie. There's a little tiny uh, little thing down there somewhere. But, hey, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and these actually made you enjoy the war zone again, I know some of these have, have gotten me a little more a little more hyped to enter the enter the AO. But thank you for watching. Have a wonderful life. I don't know. Evening, see you in five minutes, right? You're gonna hop on my Twitch channel. Right? Goodbye. Why are you still here? Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.